welcome back. We're just finishing up our mouse. We're so close to done. Um, so this will be the last video of the series. And we're going to add a little pink nose, stitch in the whiskers, um, maybe lay some of the top coat over some of these seams. And um, I'll just show you how to put a little white dot in the eye. So first I would finish up any spots with the top coat gray or tan that need to be covered. Um, like on the back of the neck, we added that taco piece. So there's a little bit of a, it's hard to see, but like a seam right here. So I would just lay some thin layer of wool over that and get that covered up. And then the same on his face. There might be a couple spots where you attached pieces that need to be blended. And you do the same thing. You just, um, like on the side of his eye here where the that forehead piece and the ear and the cheek come together. Um, <laughs> he looks like he's been in an accident and has a scar, but I, I would put some wool over that. And then once you get those covered, um, I like to put a little a little pink nose at the tip of their nose and I just take a small um, pinch just like um, we did for the eyes and then rub it in my hands to create that seed shape so I go in a circle get it going you gotta press pretty hard because you're you're sort of trying to actually begin to felt the wool into a shape, and then I go back and forth, and so you end up with a little sunflower seed shape, and then I want to put that at the end of his nose, sort of trying to create like a little V. So I'm gonna start from the top here. And then I take a finer needle once I get it stuck to really shape it. I really I like the way the little teeth turned out, if you can see that. So that's kind of fun. And then um, putting a little dot in their eye sort of really, I don't know, it's like a little spark. It just just brings them to life a bit. So it's a really tiny amount, just wisps of the, of the brighter white. And then I just roll it in my fingers to make it more dot-like. And then I usually put it about three quarters of the way around on the eye. Um, so on this eye, I'll put it like kind of high and towards the back is where I end up putting them. But I mean the glint in their eye could be anywhere. That's just that's just kind of my standard spot. But usually towards the in the top um, top hemisphere, the top semicircle and looks better off to one side or the other. I wouldn't center it so much in the top. I usually start with these kinds of things with a pretty strong needle just to get what I'm doing stuck and then use the 40, the finer 40 gauge twist when I don't want to dent it any deeper I just want to continue to smooth it out and um, you know felt it felt it in okay and then the last piece of the puzzle is the whiskers so in your kit is some 
probably dark horse hair. Some of the strands, you know, kind of go darker to lighter. And you will need a needle. And I simply thread the needle with the horse hair, just like it were thread. Fold it back a little so you have something to hold on to. And then go from one side to the other. I, I stick to this little muzzle area in the front here. And I pull the um, I pull the horse hair until the side I started on is the length of whisker I want, and then I cut the um, the other side. And I just do that. Sometimes they have a little bit of a curl to them, so you have to position it the way you want it. And do as many whiskers as you want, as long as you want. I usually do about four or five. No. To keep the whiskers from just slipping through, I put a little dot of super glue. I think if you wanted to be keep it natural. Um, and you wanted to be real precise about it, you could do use your beeswax, um, you know, and just melt it and then take a tiny little um, tool or tip of something to put a dot of it on each whisker. But I have, uh, I don't know, I guess I've traded that for the, the simplicity of and the ease of the super glue because it really doesn't leave a mark or anything and it holds them really well. So there we go. Now you guys just have to make your second mouse. So thanks so much for joining me for another critter. Um, we've had requests for reindeer, ponies, um, ornaments. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do next, um, but I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.